Dear chat friends, we have seen many, many great and epic games played by uh, Stockfish 16, but also by the previous version of Stockfish. And we have seen many great Immortal Queen sacrifices, maybe even Double P sacrifice. We have even seen many great games where Stockfish doesn't even castle stays with the king in the center of the board. We have seen crazy pawn breaks from Matisse, where Stockfish even sacrificed maybe just one piece just in order maybe to create some kind of an activity with a different piece but so really really crazy ideas stockfish has produced for sure in, in in the chess world but what you see today i think is really one of the craziest things uh, that i've seen in my life i thought that i would never see anything like this in a top engine level maybe this can happen even in top gm level and top grandmaster level but i never thought that this could happen really in top engine world today we'll put this a beautiful game in which stockfish really destroyed its opponent really also respected top engine Rofhade in only 26 moves I'm repeating in only 26 moves this is really crazy this is really brutal what the fish is doing to this other top engines and uh, we have to say this other engines are also evolving they're also making progress they're also creating opportunities in the openings and sidelines of openings so I thought as I said that this is really impossible at least in this high level of chess but it still happens again uh, Stockfish is moving the limits here Stockfish is producing new ideas really really wild wild attacking chances so pay good attention how Stockfish is destroying now of Hade in the beautiful French defense so let's see now what happened with the white pieces Stockfish opens with move d4 of Hade's response was knight to f6 but after a couple more moves the game transposed now into the Steinitz variation of the French defense so Stockfish plays this normal development with the move knight you have three and we have now again this blocked out pawn structure in the center of the board you see black is attacking the queen side so by pushing the pawns here on c5 on the other hand a white is attacking the king side uh, with ideas maybe to g4 f4 and similar stuff h4 h5 so this is the side that white will attack so c5 by rofhade simply hitting the center we have d takes c5 stockfish releases the pressure in the center of the board rofhade plays bishop to c5 bishop to d3 knight to c6 hitting now the pawn on e5 twice so that's why you have to play now bishop to f4 and you see now this e5 pawn is the basic concept for both sides black is trying to do something around the square e5 tries to, to attack it on the other hand uh, white uses this e5 pawn in order to create attacking chances on the king side because that's the only pawn that's advanced on the other side of the board and when you have such an advanced pawn like this then you coordinate still your attack around this pawn so this is this square that stockfish will try now to attack this is simply as i said the further progress here of white so we have h6 with the preparation to play maybe even g5 g4 hitting also the knight and then to pick up uh the pawn e5 so that's why stockfish retreats we have bishop to e7 castling here by stockfish and rufhade uh, puts more pressure against this powerful bishop on d3 we have to say this is really a uh, great piece coordinated to both of the sides so it's really the best minor piece on the board but stockfish says here okay i already played with my piece once in the opening stage i don't want to break too many principles in chess stockfish simply plays with the last piece that hasn't played so far in the game it's of course the rook stockfish then wants to play with the queen and of course includes the include also this other rook into the game so this is how you play fast development chess this is how you make faster progress in your attack you don't play as i said with the same piece twice you're coordinating simply your other pieces into the attack this is the way to go now rofhade takes uh, out the bishop on d3 but now the queen uses now the function of the bishop and is cross all over the board here also creates attacking chances on both sides of the board and also can be included of course into some dangerous attacks here on the king side so king side casting we have bishop to f4 and this move i really like because stockfish as i said already played now with the bishop but now the e5 square is well protected so nothing can happen around the square e5 and stockfish is saying now you have a weakness in the position you have an h6 weakness and the other issue is here that black is lacking in defenders uh, here in front of the king so when we push the uh, knight away here with the move e5 then black lost a very important defender in front of the king so now with the move e5 uh, we have space advantage and now the bishop is targeted to to the h6 square so bishop to d7 we have a3 preventing knight to b4 rook to c8 knight to e2 stockfish is slowly but surely rerouting all of these pieces towards the king side and now maybe even threaten some checkmate threats here around the king also maybe uh, threatening to pick up simply the pawn on h6 so a6 this is a counterplay idea here by Rofhade 
the idea is clear. Want to play something like b5, knight to a5, maybe even play knight to c4, fixing the structure here uh, around the square c4, maybe even hit the queen side somehow. But it seemed to me already in this particular game that this whole progress of blacks is a little bit slow. You need at, at least, I think, two, three, even maybe five tempi in order to make just a tiny little bit progress uh, here on the queen side. On the other hand, I think the the attack that white already prepared here is much much more dangerous i think than black's attack here on the queen side so after move c3 that stockfish is playing stockfish is saying now i have a further control on dark squares i'm controlling also the d4 square and now rofhada makes the main mistake in the game plays now the move queen to b6 and this is a mistake you see later why it's a mistake because you're giving up your protection of the king now you're not functioning enough here in order to defend your king you don't have too many pieces that are defending your king so now you're leaving your further protection of the king this is devastating a better way to go if you want to at least somehow to compete uh, against this potential battery that you see now stockfish will create stock stockfish after move queen to b6 immediately played now the move queen to d2 hitting the pawn on h6 so a better way was to play simply knight to a5 preventing of course here queen to d2 because then knight to b3 immediately would have happened for instance then white would simply have to after move knight to a5 would have to continue with knight to d4 controlling the b3 square but now rook to e8 i think would solve many positional problems here in black's position bishop to f8 then for instance if queen to d2 happens then bishop to f8 is uh, creating at least some kind of a defensive structure uh, to protect somehow the pawn on h6 this has to be played this is one of the methods in order to stay in the game but as i said after move queen to b6 that rofhade played rofhade didn't even challenge the queen never even retreated here with the rook never really improved the position of the bishop in order to defend the pawn on h6 and now stockfish says okay thank you i will simply attack you here around the square h6 you could maybe try here king to h7 but this is not working we'll play simply knight to d4 again this move you can play knight to um uh, knight to a5 uh, now but now white will have this beautiful move b3 will never will never really allow knight to c4 to happen and you cannot pick up uh, the pawn on b3 because you get queen to c2 check and you lose the piece so this wouldn't work you can also play here uh, instead of this knight to b3 move you can play rook to d8 in order to maybe play as i said this defensive move bishop to a fake but look at this h4 g4 g5 h5 are really dangerous moves and i'm not seeing ways how is going black to counter play on any side of the board because look at this we have a great grip here in the center of the board everything is fixed in the center in the center there's no movement and also on the queen side there's simply no movement the only attacking chances that i see are on the king side so that's why look at this we can just push the pawns and the position will explode on the uh, on the king side and we have many pieces that are already targeting the king side so in my opinion devastating game so that's why i think really uh it's not even immediately evaluated it's an inaccuracy this move i really studied hard to hear this position with my stockfish engine at home queen to b6 really an unnecessary move because stockfish plays now queen to d2 now knight to a5 is coming but it's one move too slow now you don't have any more chances with you move knight to b3 stockfish says thank you i will pick up now the pawn here and stockfish destroys the position let's see now what happens when black plays of course the obvious g takes h6 this wasn't played in the game but this is devastating look at this we play queen to h6 you have to play something like rook to c4 in order to stay in the game to control the g4 square you see now why is it so important because after knight to g5 where they're trying a checkmate you have to play bishop to g5 queen to g5 and now after king to h7 knight to f4 you see black's rook is controlling now the fourth rank now okay black can maybe stay in the game by sacking the rook now for the knight but still after uh, something like queen to f4 queen to b2 look at this rook to d2 rook to d1 pardon me rook to d3 or rook to e3 rook to g3 will happen so one of these rooks will be lifted to the third rank and will deliver an annoying check so this uh, whole concept is not working for black black is getting destroyed for sure so that's our analysis after move bishop to h6 so you cannot cannot pick up now the bishop so after move knight to uh, bishop to h6 knight to b3 was played the fork against the queen and the rook stockfish retreats gives up now uh here 
the rook on a1 in the game knight takes a1 was played by Earl of Hade, but let's see again what happens uh, sorry if you play g takes h6 here if you play this move then again look at this it's really really crazy how stockish uh, is uh, calculating this tactics after g takes h6 we have queen to h6 now rook to c4 again to control maybe this move knight to f4 because if this knight comes on f4 then knight to h5 knight to f6 uh, e takes f6 queen to g7 so this is a path in order to deliver checkmate or maybe even deliver checkmate immediately or knight to g5 so you can play of course now knight to g5 after bishop to g5 queen to g5 you have to step back and now look at this what happens after move knight to f4 if you play something like king to rook to g8 then we deliver a check now after king to g7 new check and now the issue is after king to f8 look at this crazy move knight to d5 attacking the queen you cannot pick up uh, here the knight because the queen is hanging so this is pure calculation here by stockfish you can of course play queen to c6 but now this knight is coming into the game knight to f6 the rook is hanging you step back but again the rook lift rook to e3 and rook to g3 the knight is controlling the g4 square nothing can happen look at this how stockfish produces really really wild ideas so this is our analysis after potential g takes h6 so it's simply knight working so in the game after queen to f4 so that's why knight takes a1 was played by erof hade but now stockfish plays queen to g3 threatens immediately a checkmate on g7 you have to push the pawn further and now knight to f4 is again threatening knight takes g6 followed with f takes g6 queen to g6 and again a new checkmate so that's why bishop to e8 uh controlling now the g6 square but now stockfish plays a very important move bishop to g5 we have rook to c7 getting simply the rook into the defense even if you play bishop to g5 the knight is coming into the game again queen to h3 and similar stuff is going to happen you have worries here around the square f6 so again this defense is not working so after move rook to uh, c7 stockfish plays of course the obvious bishop to f6 we have bishop takes f6 e takes f6 and now after queen to b2 queen to h4 we have queen to c3 now after rook to f1 stockfish is pre preparing now to move knight to g5 because the knight was a little bit overloaded to the defense of the rook on e1 now knight to g5 is the threat and here in this particular position after move queen to f6 that of Hade played it immediately resigned really really wild stuff this is now move 26 and the of Hade engine resigned as i said really crazy thing that in top engine world something like this can still happen you see it's a pure calculation here by stockfish stockfish is so dominant stockfish is so aggressive it calculates basically everything here in this particular position and also a beautiful tactical sequence with this beautiful bishop takes h6 sacrifice so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really really enjoyed a lot interesting stuff for sure that still these other engines are getting destroyed like this by the most powerful chess engine stockfish 16 if you want to see more stockfish games and other uh, top engine games check out our comments chess games played by computer series here's the link of our playlist and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel See you soon with some more videos and what do we say? Chess is the best, of course.